okay uh, select the material again and if you go if you select here import from file uh, there you will see uh, Rhino's pre-built material and then let's say I want to change this one as I don't know uh, maybe stone and granite it is changed to granite I would save it as okay so I just use granite and okay if I render <coughs> it will be changed let's say it is granite now I will change the glass material I'll go to a little bit zoom in and I'll select glass carefully and if you select glass carefully you will see only yellow line and then only glow glass part it's be careful that not to select mullions or building surface when you did import can I see your file thread? like it takes me to my desktop can I see where you get your material? Uh, okay I'll, after, I will go there so you select this one okay now I will save it in another layer I'll just make another layer called glass and then I change this layer into glass and I also click the materiality button then I select folder and then uh, that one is okay I'll just show you which is in render content uh, what is the highest level uh, to see the whole okay so I'll go to first okay, see users my name app data roaming map neil rhinoceros 5.0 localization English US render and and in the in the render content probably okay. you got that okay so the folder is yeah so C under C Users, users? My name. and your name, app data. Oh, uh, uh, then I don't know. But I have, I'm running it on Windows. Right, but like which version of Windows? Yeah, I will check this one later. But uh, I will go to, I will check it later with you. And then uh, what I go to do, all I select is in render content, render content, I go to transparent, and there's water, uh, maybe glass, and open, and it is glass material, and OK, and I will render again. Now we see a, a transparent glass and shadow uh, going through the, the interior space. So this is a way how to change 